Hey! Welcome to Creative Soul Vibes. Today I'm sharing with you how to control your thoughts. You see controlling our thoughts isn't about denying such thoughts are there. Controlling thought is more about choosing what and how we want to think about a person, place or thing. For example, if an argument happens and some not so good, or nasty things were spoken between you and the other person, well, this sort of thing can linger and eat at you for far longer than you care to it. If thinking about the word spoken bothers you to the point that you continue to feel anger, or lower vibrational emotions, then this is an opportunity for you to stop. Find a moment to sit and observe what was said. Why were the words spoken and specifically from you? Of course, consider why the other might have said what they said. Doing so is helping you consider your accountability in what transpired and provide an opportunity to take responsibility in the part you played. Because we all play a part in the things that happen directly to us and indirectly in our lives. It may not be our fault always, but even with good will and intentions things can go sour. Ask yourself, did I speak out of anger, or from a place of love? If your words were from a loving place, but yet felt unheard by the other, be honest about that thought and then decide what should or will you do to help rectify the situation. For example, ask yourself, do I owe an apology? Am I willing to let this go even if I deserve an apology and may not receive one? Ask yourself, is this work rehashing? Will this even matter a year or more from now? How did I play a part in the arrival of the argument? Be honest when answering the question because it's honesty that will help to flush out any delusions. The questions are to help you better show up for yourself and take accountability and responsibility for what happens to you, for you, and in your life. We have no control over the thoughts of others, but we can show up for ourselves in the most authentic way that helps to position ourselves to receive what is for our highest good. So remember, we do have control over our thoughts and by choice. Also, our thoughts create our emotions and feelings, which create our actions and reactions, thus it is these things that gives us our results in life. It's not necessarily easy to take control over our thoughts without practice, because it does take a willingness of accountability and responsibility on our part and most of us may find that we just rather not. Just as our personal happiness is an inside job taking control over our thoughts is our own responsibility. And, doing so will always help to position you for the outcome towards your highest good. Love and Light